Hi and welcome, this is Andy and in this video I will show you how to create a PBR material which you can then just paint on your character. You can life adjust uh, the color and many other things. So um, let's get started. So before we will uh, recreate this, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please feel free to do so and hit the notification bell so you will get notified in the future. So I will open Suzanne here, and this is how we left the or how we created the character last time. And um, now I will show you how to create such a material. So this is our um, diffuse channel here. We have the ambient occlusion. We have various textures here. Um, so this is all we know from the last time. Now we will create a new layer. So in B Painter we have typical paint layers, we have adjustment layers, we have procedural layers. And now we have this uh, color layer here, which is new. So we will create one. And you can see we can then just can apply a color here. So we will set this to some yellowish color. We can later adjust it again. And we will create a new texture, with, which will be uh, a mask. So you create a new paint layer, call it gold mask, and now we will apply it uh, here as gold mask. And then we control click on this mask icon here, and then just say this is an alpha mask, and we will put the, uh, the range a little bit up here, so like this. Um, now we don't need this mask layer here anymore because we will only use this, use this um, as mask. So we will delete this one. And if we choose now a color and just start painting, you see that um, we paint um, yeah, this color which we set here. So we can take any color we want. Um, if we want to adjust the texture, the, the mask, we can make it with this color ramp, we can make the edges harder or softer like like you uh, wish. So okay, this is a good start, I think. So next we will create um, a new layer uh, or a new channel, which will be uh, responsible for the metallic. So let's create a new, uh, a new channel plus, and let's call it metallic channel. And this will be uh, this will go into the metallic input here. So press OK, and now you see we have this new channel here. Um, we will make the background color of our metallic channel white, uh, black, so it is not metallic. And now we will create a new um, a new color layer here, which will be white, and this will get the same mask as our gold layer here. So let's create a new mask from existing and let's just also select this gold mask here. Okay, next we will control click on this icon and also set this to an alpha mask and increase the, um, the ramp here. Okay, now if we paint uh, this material, it, has, it is uh, a metallic color and uh, it is orange or yellowish. So next we will adjust the roughness channel. So we will move uh, or go into the roughness here and create a new color layer. Oh, sorry, a new color layer here. Okay. And this color layer will be multiplied. So with this, we then can uh, adjust our, our uh, roughness of our material. So the cool thing is if we multiply it, we will see the texture uh, beneath. So that's pretty cool. So if we preview this, you can see that we still have the, the original texture from uh, below. Okay, let's create a new mask here. Set this to gold mask. Again, control click, uh, alpha mask, and also set the ramp a little bit higher here. So now we have our normal material, which is the stone. And on top of that, we have our gold material. So this is pretty cool. Um, and we can always adjust the, the roughness here with this one color. Okay, let's make it a shiny material, but still have the, the rock texture beneath here. 
So if we preview the layer, it will, oh, sorry. Um, so if we preview this here, it will look like that. Okay, so if you haven't uh, seen it yet, with uh, this little button here, you can preview your textures. So if you select any layer, uh, it will preview the, uh, the whole channel. But if you select um, a mask, this is indicated by this little arrow here. So that now the mask is selected. It will it will preview the mask of your um, yeah, of your layer. So this is this can come quite in, can come in quite handy. Okay, so let's make the gold like that. And last but not least, we will add some normal distortion. So we will create a new channel <coughs> and call it normal channel. Say okay. Oh, and we will feed this into the normal channel like that. Okay, we will set the um, channel color to something bright, that's okay. And now we will add a new procedural layer and this will be a Voronoi texture. So like that, but we will adjust it a little bit. So control click on our texture here and we will make this brighter. So something like this and we will set it from F1 to F, a smooth F1. So we have a texture like this. And we can always change the opacity here. So if we want to have it uh, less effect, just change the opacity of that layer. And now again, we will apply a new mask here, set it to gold mask, control click on the, on the mask icon here, and set this to alpha mask and ramp this up a little bit like that okay so if we disable it enable and now we if we change to our diffuse channel we gen then just select the layer here and select our mask and then just start painting with a bright color oh what is going on the mask is not selected somehow okay so now we have it. Okay. So that way we, we can create um, yeah, a material on top of this. So if we, if we change the color here, we can life adjust everything and set it to our likings. We can uh, set it to any color we like. And if you want to hide this uh, layer, we can press it, but you see that all other channels are still active. So sometimes it's not what you want. Um, I've added a functionality. If you press control click on this icon here, it will go through all layers and see if they have the same mask applied. And if they do, uh, it will also hide that mask. So if you press control click, it will hide all layers with the same mask. And if you just press um, normally, it will only hide this particular layer here. So yeah, this is how you would uh, create a secondary or a new material with its completely own settings and um, yeah I hope you liked it so if you didn't know B painter is on the blender market on sale right now and uh, you can get 25% until Monday so if you haven't yet and you would like to do some painting in blender just head over to the blender market and get it there thanks for watching and see you next time